application. Now lastly, let's talk about PPI or proton pump inhibitors. So basically how these drugs work is that they act at a specific secretory surface receptor and therefore on um, preventing the final step of the, the acid production and therefore decreasing the level of acid within the stomach. An easier way to remember these drugs is by remembering that the, the suffixes or endings of the drugs usually end in prazoles. Okay, now the most common PPIs or proton pump um, inhibitor drugs that you might encounter in the NCLEX includes uh, omeprazole, lenisoprazole, and isomeprazole. So when do we usually use these drugs? Um, PPIs or proton pump inhibitors is usually used as a treatment for um, duodenal ulcers, also for patients with GERD, erosive esophagitis, and also with uh, patients with benign gastric ulcers. Remember that with PPIs, we need to teach our patient that they need to administer the drug before meals, and we need to ensure that the patient, that the patient does not open, chew, or crush the drug. Now, the side effects of uh, PPI can include dizziness, headaches. In the gastrointestinal system, it can cause diarrhea, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, and also dry mouth. It can also um, cause the patient to have a hoarseness, and uh, sometimes it can cause epistaxis or bleeding in the nose. To see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's allnursingnotes.com or just click the link below.